Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right. Today we're going to read a sad story. A story that, um, as a servant of God, it kind of bothers me. But there's a lesson to be learned here. And that is 1 Kings chapter 13, starting verse 7. You remember this prophet of God had, went, had gone from the southern kingdom up to the northern kingdom, to Bethel, to prophesy against the altar and against Jeroboam. And as he did that, Jeroboam said, ooh, I'd like to reward you for this. I'd like to pay you. I'd like to hire you. But the prophet said, no, I can't. Uh, and, uh, and he said, well, let me read this to you. Notice verse uh, eight. It says, and the man of God said unto the king, if thou wilt give me a half thine house, I will not go in with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For it was so charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way, uh, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. In other words, you go up and you come back. You don't eat anything, you don't drink anything till you're back in your home. Okay, um, and so um, he went another way and returned not by the way that he went to Bethel. Now. Here we see that there is another individual that comes in. And this guy, I'm not sure why he did it, but I'm led to believe that he was led of God to do this so that he can teach us an important lesson. Notice it says in verse 11, Thou there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and, uh, and his sons came and told him the works of the man of God had done that day in Bethel, the words which he had spoken unto the king, and them they told to their father. And the father said unto him, Which way went he? And his sons had seen which way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he, <clears throat> and he said to his sons, Saddle my ass. So they saddled to him the ass that he rode thereupon. And after the man of God, and he found the man of God sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of God that camest from Judah? And he said, I am. He said, Then he said unto him, Come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with, this, uh, with thee in this place. And he goes on and tells him, because God told me not to do it. It's interesting what happens. Notice verse 18. And he said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee unto thy house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. Now, see, here's the thing. When God tells us to do something, he wants us to do it regardless of what anyone else says. The apostle Paul, in talking to New Testament Christians, said, even if I or, or even an angel of light tells you to do anything other than what I've told you, let them be accursed. Because you see, Satan can dress up like an angel of light. Satan can deceive us. We are to do what the word of God tells us to do, not what people tell us to do. And when God has told us what to do, that's final. Okay, I want you to get that. When God tells us what to do, that's final. And we need to do that. But this man said, oh, Really? God told you that? Okay, I'll go with you. So he went and he ate and he drank. And then the prophet of God said to him, you should have done what God told you to do and now you're going to die. And the prophet who had gone and been so faithful and speaking against Jeroboam and the altar made his way out and got on his mule and down they went. But then God sent a lion and killed the prophet. And the old prophet went out looking for him and found his dead body and found the mule standing there next to the lion. Now that's another miracle because mules don't stick around when lions are there. And the lion hadn't eaten. He had only killed the prophet. He hadn't eaten the mule. And the prophet went and took his fellow prophet and he mourned over him. Even though he had been instrumental in the prophet's death, it wasn't his fault. It was the fact that he had not obeyed God. What do we learn from this? 
we learn from this that sometimes there are harsh punishments for not obeying God. When God has told us exactly what to do, that's final. And sometimes there are harsh punishments for not obeying God. So, hey, love you guys. And uh, I guess we're actually back. We should be back in Love's Park now. Probably have seen you. But uh, love you. Remember, when God tells you what to do, that's final. <laughs>